In this part 9 of the series, I'd like to show you more about portable applications. And I keep all these in a single common folder called UU. UU for useful utilities or portable applications. Uh, I've even set up a hotkey for my convenience to reach uh, that folder. Uh, it's called uh, Portable Apps. So I just simply hit Alt Graphic A. And here are all my portable applications. Portable means in two senses. Uh, one is it's portable that you can transfer it onto a, something like a USB memory stick and move it around from one machine to another. But also portable means in a logical software sense where the application doesn't need to be installed into the operating system or embedded into it and therefore it hasn't any adverse effects uh, on, on the operating system. And the operating system can be any PC, a laptop or desktop, and it can be Windows uh, XP or Vista or 7. It doesn't matter what the operating system is. A, oper the, a, a good portable system will operate independently of that, and it will not put any, 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 um, any load on it when the application is not in use. You can see I have rather a lot of these utilities. Uh, you wouldn't think I was such a magpie considering how little is visible uh, on my desktop. So each utility has its own folder and I'll go through some of these uh, just by way of example. I don't put any shortcuts onto the start menu. I just find it convenient just to go to the relative folder and find the executable within extension.exe and just double click that to run the application. This is my a favorite uh, archiver which handles all kinds of different style of file archives. All these utilities I'm going to show you are free uh, to download and uh, I'll show you later how to how to find these utilities on the on the internet. Uh, this one called Auto Runs shows me in great detail a lot of processes running on the PC. It's a technical tool but I, I like it. It's one of my favorites. I'll close that one down. And here we have Cam Studio. This is a software I'm using right now to record this session, this desktop session, in, onto a file which I upload onto, onto YouTube. You just run the uh, executable camstudio.exe in order to start the application. Oh, uh, the application is called recorder.exe. And this one is ccleaner.exe. Uh, this one we've covered in an earlier episode to do with cleaning up the registry and uh, unnecessary files on the PC. Now, a good portable application will store all your preference settings in a file in a file called any file, rather than within within the registry. And this is where, uh, under the control of the application, all your all your preferences are saved. Not all portable applications are as well behaved as that, and sometimes. You have to um, set your preferences each time you, you go into the application. This one is Code Stuff Starter, which we've covered before. And here is a more thorough alternative registry cleaner to CCleaner, which, I've, which I quite like. This one is eRunt, which is the registry backup utility, which we've already covered. And Foxit is my favorite Adobe PDF reader, which is very lightweight and easy to use. Altern it's an alternative to the standard Adobe Acrobat reader, which is quite heavy and uh, cumbersome. The FS Viewer or Firestone Viewer is my favorite uh, picture viewer and editor for photos, JPEG files. Oh, if you want to have JPEG files o always open by this application, you have to make an association. Um, I'll show you where that can be done. It's under Tools and Folder Options. And under File Types, if I just type the word JPEG, for example, JPG, you'll see I have an association there that it should always be opened with FS Viewer. I can, always, I can change that uh, to some other preferred application uh, if I wish. Another way of creating that association is to take the particular uh, JPEG file, uh, picture file, and right click it and then say open with and then I can choose my programs which ones which one I prefer to use. 
if it's not listed there I just choose a program and then navigate my way by browsing I can say always use the selected program to open this kind of file I'll just tick that and then browse to uh, the useful utility the UU folder with my fsviewer.exe file and select it that way and once it's done that picture file will always be opened by your favorite application portable application now moving on we have uh, G-Spot I, I forget what this application does um, I, yes I believe it's to do with uh, managing codecs um, as you see I don't I don't use that one very often now, if you have too many portable applications sometimes you can lose track and forget how to use one I find it quite handy to you can drop a readme make a little readme file and make a little note what the how to use what settings to use or how to any any sort of useful notes you're allowed to just simply create a readme file and uh, you can refer to that at some future date when you've long forgotten uh, what it's for this SIW is another utility which is really useful for creating very detailed auditing information about the uh, your 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 PC it's very very detailed produces a very very detailed report so if you ever wanted to complete audit trail of your your PC build software and hardware architecture this is the tool to use and team viewer is my favorite uh, remote control controlling a remote PC utility I think I'll cover that in a uh, one of the future episodes of this series uh, this one is uh, VLC. This is my favorite multimedia player. It replaces a whole raft of uh, different players. You can play all kinds of different kinds of files. Apple MOV files, real player type files, Windows media player files. Rather than having all these different multimedia players, I just have this one utility which has its own codecs and, and it plays virtually everything, every all kinds of different types of files. It's to find all these portable apps, uh, one way to do so is to use your favorite browser and just Google for it and just put the keyword portable at the end and you have a very good chance of locating a portable version if one exists. Another way of doing finding the portable applications is that there are a couple of dedicated websites which uh, list a lot of portable applications. One such website is portableapps.com and another website is www.portablefreeware.com just a final thought uh, moving your whole library of portable applications is very very easy all you do is to copy your entire root folder UU in this case to your memory stick and then put your memory stick into your new PC or your other laptop or desktop and just copy the entire folder structure uh, uh, onto your hard disk of that new PC. So much easier than running around each individual application, installing it and configuring it separately as an embedded installation. So, have fun with your PC till next time.